Hey guys, Scott here from Red Rock Maintenance. So today I got a couple things I got to get done. Um, first thing is I'm heading to my rental property. Uh, I don't really talk much about it, but we do own rental properties and uh, we had a leak in the one drain. Uh, so I was there last week trying to fix it, but it's a really big leak in the bottom of the pipe. So I called my plumber up and he's gonna be there around 12 o'clock today to fix that for me, because this is just a job that if I try to do, it's gonna take me probably a full day. And him, he'll probably take him about half an hour to an hour. So. I uh, called them up, so that's where I'm going right now. As well, at our rental property, we had a tree come down. Um, it kind of fell in our backyard and in our, the neighbor's backyard. Uh, <coughs> so the neighbor cut some up in his backyard already, looks like it, but I'm gonna go try and cut the trunk up that's on our side. Uh, I was supposed to do that a long time ago. I haven't had time to do it. So I figured while I'm waiting for the plumber, I'll go do that job. And then as well, in the basement, I got some drywall to fix up. And then when I'm uh, done doing the tree and that, I'm gonna have to re-patch uh, the hole that I cut in the wall to find this pipe. So I'll have to re-dry that as well. So hopefully I can try and show you a bit of uh, my rental property and some of uh, what I do there uh, when things go wrong. But usually everything really runs really smoothly there. Uh, there's just, you know, the odd things I have to do every, you know, maybe once a month, if that. But anyways, guys, if you haven't done so already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. this tree trimmed up I forgot to film it but here it is so now they got room to put more snow here okay so here's the tree at the back that's fallen down just this limb here so I'm gonna chop this up quickly get cleaned up So this next branch here, I knew I should have gone up from underneath it, but I didn't. I went from the top and then I got my chainsaw pinched. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything to get it out. So I had my little leather man trying to cut the blade out. Um, I wasn't able to push it. As you see, I'm trying to push it to try and free it, but just the way it was sitting, I could not get it out by myself. If I had somebody else there uh, with me, they probably could have just pulled this out for me, but it took me about half an hour to get the saw out. Um, I'm always reading the tree wrong and always getting it pinched. So this was my mistake once again. Um, so you got to know how to read a tree and which way it's going to fall. But I thought it wouldn't do anything because it was actually hung up in the tree above it. So I thought it was going to come down nice and easy. But uh, it went and pinched back the other way instead of the way I thought it was going to go. So I wasted a bunch of time trying to get it out. I was pretty frustrated. But luckily I did have something to try and uh, get it out. Uh, like I said, I just took my leather man, took the saw part and just cut, kind of cut around the chain. and finally got it out after probably like I said half an hour but guys just make sure when you're cutting the tree to read the tree right and uh, 
Don't do what I do. I do this much too often. <laughs> So that's all I can get from that chief right now. They've got the chain link fence there and don't feel comfortable cutting beside it. Maybe you have to ask the neighbor to go over there and finish cutting it up for him maybe. But that's it right there. So I'm gonna haul it away. I did get the chain stuck, but uh, kind of stuck. But anyways, I'm gonna start taking this to the truck.